So this is an apple and this is an apple too. That's backwards. Hey guys, welcome to DOS Storm. Today we're talking about the Apple II, or more specifically, how you can actually load programs on an Apple II. Now the Apple II is actually one of my favorite retro computers just because it's so easy to load programs on. You don't need any extra uh, emulators or adapters or even a disk drive. All you need is a simple uh, 3.5 millimeter auxiliary cable. So without any further uh, introduction, let's show you how to do it. Hey guys, so I got my Apple II all booted up here. And I got my computer here just to show you uh, how you load the games or how I load the games. Now, uh, the Apple II itself, to load these games, you just need a uh, aux jack, like a 3.5 millimeter, and you plug it into the back of your Apple II's cassette input. And then you plug the other end into your phone or uh, your computer you wish to load the game from. So... The website I'm using here is ASCIIexpress.net, and basically it's just a repository of uh, a bunch of different Apple II games and programs you can just load directly from your browser, whether that be on your phone or on the actual computer. So it gives you two options. Uh, you can do games, which will just load the program into the memory of your Apple II, or disks, uh, which will prompt you to put a disk in, it'll format it, and uh, load uh, They'll get program on that disc. Uh, we're going to go to games for right now. Uh, the list of games is a little more uh, is, is smaller because it's basically only small games that would go onto one disc. If you want multi-disc games, you would select discs. So on my phone here, I have uh, a game brought up. Basically, any game you bring up here, I'll bring it up on the computer. Let's bring up Alien Game. It's going to give you uh, a couple different options here. It's going to give you bracket hi-fi and uh, asterisk hi-fi and then bracket lo-fi and then asterisk lo-fi. This uh, symbol, the bracket or the asterisk, basically just corresponds to uh, the state of your Apple II and what the command uh, prompt is giving you. Um, so mine is a bracket. So I just basically type in load on my Apple II and then I would hit enter, and it's gonna wait uh, for your signal. So here on my phone, I have uh, Crystal Castles. So I'm gonna select Hi-Fi with the bracket and just hit play. Make sure the volume on your device is turned up. And so you're gonna hear that beep, that means it's getting the data. So it's loading in the program right now. And there it says it's going to load Crystal Caves in about 15 seconds. So just wait it out, and the game should load. So yeah, I have my game loaded here. And you can pretty much do this with, well, you can do this with any game that's on there. But next, I'll show you how you can do it with a disc. So let's uh, let's get into that. So I got the disc version here. Uh, so this is going to give you similar options. Uh, really, the only difference here is you have format and no format. So if you insert a disc here uh, with this one, it's going to format the disc. Or if it's already formatted, uh, it will save you a little bit of time, and you can um, you can just load it directly onto the disc. Uh, my disk isn't formatted, so I'm gonna format. I'm gonna use the format option. So I got it here up on my phone again. Uh, this is Arkanoid. So let's type load in again, and I got my disk pushed in. So let's click the Hi-Fi button. Format disk.
All right, so our disk has successfully written, so we're gonna hit enter and it should restart and just start the game. And there you go, you got Arkanoid. This game unfortunately doesn't work with just the keyboard, I don't think, but you get the point. All right, guys, that just about does it for this video. If you like this kind of stuff, uh, please hit like and uh, share it. If you if you have a friend or something that wants to get an Apple II going, um, and if you like this stuff, subscribe. I do it all the time. Uh, post new videos every week. So I'll see you in the next one, guys. Thanks.